Hi, my name is Wan and welcome to Game News. Mortal Kombat 12 to launch in 2023. Are you ready for another brutal fighting action? Well, it looks like Mortal Kombat 12 is on its way. So guys, according to an earnings call by Warner Bros, the game is currently in development and will be launched sometime this year. And there's lots more to come. That's what that's my the highly was. anticipated Mortal Kombat 12 and Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. Games also set for release this year with ambitious launch projections. Although the exact release date has not been announced, Mortal Kombat 12 was named alongside Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League as one of the games that Warner Bros. has high hopes for this year. So, the news was first reported by YouTuber Valiant Renegade who was listening in on the earnings call when Mortal Kombat 12 was mentioned. So guys, during the call, Warner Bros. also talked about the success of their gaming division, boasting about the performance of Hogwarts Legacy and other upcoming titles. So, when can we expect an official announcement for Mortal Kombat 12? So guys, given the scale of the game, it's likely to be revealed during the summer, possibly around E3. It's unlikely that MK12 will launch around the same time that Street Fighter 6, which is set to release in June, as both games have a similar niche audience that will likely overlap. Therefore, if Mortal Kombat 12 released this year, it's likely to hit the shelves during the holiday season. Meanwhile, Warner Bros. is also hoping for big things from Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League. All in all, MK fans have plenty to be excited about with the news of upcoming release of Mortal Kombat 12. We'll be sure to keep you updated on any further developments and announcements as they come in, so be sure to stay tuned. Resident Evil 4 to get a special demo soon. So guys, PlayStation and Capcom have announced that the Resident Evil 4 Remake will be getting a special demo before launch. Alongside the demo, a new gameplay trailer has been revealed, showing off more locations, encounters, and a couple boss fights. While we don't have a specific release date for the demo, it is expected to drop in the next few weeks, considering that the game launches next month. Fans of the series are eagerly anticipating the release of this game, and the demo will undoubtedly add to the excitement. The trailer itself is Backed with interesting action set pieces, including Leon taking down the two El Gigantes and a knife fight with Major Cruiser. As of the series, we'll be pleased to know that Ashley seems to be playable in this remake, which wasn't included in the original game. The trailer also gives us a glimpse of the game's mercenaries mode, although how in depth or fleshed out it will be is currently unknown. It was confirmed after the show that it won't be launching with the game on March 24, but it will be added as a free post DLC. If you are a fan of the series, you will also be pleased to know that there is a VR mode confirmed to be in development, adding a whole new level of immersion to the game. Uh, I think this team is actually really, really passionate about this game, and they are actually doing really graphically. You, you can see that the, this remake is actually looking amazing. So, uh, guys, I didn't play the original games, Resident Evil 1, 2, 3, or 4. I didn't play the original ones. My first experience with the Resident Evil game was actually the Resident Evil 7, because you know I'm way, way younger, so there was no way of me playing the original games back then. So, so having the opportunity to play these amazing games in this new generation consoles, at least for me, is amazing. And I really, really like the stories, and I love these games. Uh, you know, the Resident Evil 2 remake was amazing. Really, really good. I love that game so much. And the three too for me was it was a really really good game. I love that game. And I know that for the older fans, that remake wasn't good. I didn't get it why. And then doing the research, I find out that some parts of the original game wasn't included in the remake. So that was a developer decision. And I do understand that that makes fans a little bit mad. But you know, the game was amazing. Just because the game was missing a part of the original story, that doesn't make the remake bad. I mean, the gameplay was really really good. The game was a little bit more action driven than a horror game i do understand that people can have some complaints about that because you know the game is supposed to be a survival horror game but i did think that the action in resident evil 3 remake was included in a in a really good way so for me it didn't really bother and i love that remake too so so i hope this remake of the resident evil 4 just come out as good and as amazing that the other remakes have come so the game is set to release on pc ps4 ps5 and xbox series x and s on march 24th First, Suicide Squad killed the Justice League gameplay. The debut was made at Sony's first State of Play event of the year and revealed a lot of gameplay footage. The showcase began by providing a glimpse into the game settings which take place 5 years after the events of Arkham Knight. So guys, this detail had not been revealed previously and could explain Batman's sudden return. 
So, the footage showed each of the Suicide Squad members fighting against Brainiac's army while also chasing corrupt versions of Superman, Batman and The Flash. Surprisingly, the gameplay involved a lot of combat in the air, running up walls and shooting large numbers of disposable enemies. And following the gameplay trailer, we got a behind the scenes look at some of the minute details of the game. These include character customization options such as Superman outfit for King Shark and a more detailed explanation of how each squad members play. Rocksteady also addressed one of the game's more controversial elements, the previously gear system and battle pass. They explained that these are not true live action service elements although it was still strange to see them included. In addition to the main campaign, Rocksteady confirms that Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League will have substantial DLC. They plan to offer character and mission based DLC as well as additional weapons. Cosmetic DLC will also be available through a battle pass featuring outfits such as Wonder Woman, Harley Quinn and Superman King Shark. So guys, I was actually really really excited for this game and now I have no excitement left. Not gonna lie. First, because the gameplay seems, at least for me, just like fly and shooting. I don't know if you guys catch something different, but I didn't. Uh, and that kind of gameplay doesn't interest me because it's just like the Avengers gameplay. And we all know how that game ended up. And the idea of including a battle pass into a $60 game, because this game is gonna be full price, is a really, really bad idea. And is a terrible decision. Why not giving them all cosmetics, the DLCs, the new weapons included in the $60? Because they have already to play the game rocksteady what you guys are doing and this idea of you know adding characters missions weapons and cosmetics through dlcs is a bad idea too i mean it's a bad idea if you're gonna charge for the dlc and i hope they don't charge for this dlcs but i know they will i know they will and with this news this game is basically dead for me Guys, I'm gonna be telling you the truth. I'm not gonna buy this game. I'm just gonna sit down, watch people playing it, watch some reviews come out, and then I will decide. I will recommend you to do the same. Don't buy this game until you watch a lot of gameplays and see if the game is really, really for you. Because with these systems, I don't think this game is gonna last too long. So, Suicide Squad Kill the Justice League releases on May 26th for PC, PS5, and Xbox Series X and S. Metal Gear Solid E3 Remake and New Castlevania reportedly at E3 2023. Are you a fan of Metal Gear Solid or Castlevania? Then get ready for some exciting news. According to a report by VGC Podcast, Konami is working on reviving all its big IPs and Metal Gear Solid 3 is rumored to be the next game in the line for a remake. Virtuals, a game developer that lists Konami as one of its clients, has experience using the Fox engine which was used to create Metal Gear Solid 3 The Phantom Pain. Fans have been waiting for a Metal Gear Solid 3 remake for years and it seems like we may finally see one at E3. And guys, the reporter Annie Robson also mentioned that that there's going to be a new Castlevania game announced along with the Dead Cells DLC that was announced at the Game Awards. Robinson suggested that Konami might use Metal Gear Solid 3 as a test bed for future remakes, indicating that there could be more Metal Gear Solid remakes on the way. So this is all for me for now guys, thank you so much for watching, don't forget to subscribe to the channel, leave a like, comment something down below and peace.